Hello guys, here we have a, a data interpretation uh, question. So we will do in this video. Okay. So first of all, uh, before attempting any data interpretation question, just uh, uh, skim the uh, any graph that is uh, available for you. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that would help you a lot while answering while solving the question. Okay. So just see the graph. Okay. It's a bar chart. We can see that it's a bar chart. For example, here we can see the bars, different bars. Okay. So now, what are you getting through this? Wait. what you understand through this okay here is a, uh, here we have the question that i didn't written actually and that's my mistake let me just uh, let me just uh, narrate it for you here is the sale of the five uh, six branches uh, with different two years for example in different two years for example uh, the blue color that shows uh, the sale in the 2000 and uh, the red color shows uh, the uh, sales in uh, 2001 okay now we can see that in uh, for the branch one that is the, the sale of 2000 uh, is in 2000 that is almost 80 and then you can see that sale in thousands number okay it's mean that the sale of branch one in 2000 is actually 80 uh, 80 thousand okay the next uh, in the next year 2001 the sale is 105000 okay now while analyzing the graph you have to solve uh, this uh, question if uh, if you are asked okay so you can see different uh, question over here you can see the question and that is uh, that says what is the ratio of the total sale of branch 2 for both year to the total sale of branch B for the both year. Now it says the sale of branch two in two thousand uh, uh, in two thousand and two thousand one in both year. What would what would be the ratio? And we know that ratio would be B two. If it is asked, it is being asked B six. Okay, that is the ratio. Sale of the B branch two to the sale of branch four. Okay. Now, just add the sale of the branch to of both of both years. Okay, six seventy five plus sixty five. This branch two, the sale of both year would be seventy five plus sixty five, and that would be is equal to zero and one fifty here, and that would be one forty. Okay, branch two sale is one forty. Okay, now let's see what is the sale of branch four. Okay. Branch four is here, and the sale is uh, is something in the middle. So we can see that that's actually what it says. Actually, we can just figure out through the lines. It says almost in the middle. So it seems that it is eighty five. Okay, and in th that is also in the middle. Okay, so that's mean. The uh, in two thousand uh, the uh, the sale of branch four was uh eighty five and uh, the other uh, coming year uh, and the other year uh, was ninety five okay so now we can add both ninety five plus eighty five which would be equal to one eighty okay now you have gotten the sale of both consecutive years. The year 2000 and this year uh, 2001. Now just uh, just uh, take out and just calculate the ratio B2 and B4. Okay, and that would be B2 is 140 and the B4 is 180. So seven and the eight. So the ratio, the answer would be our uh, answer would be seven. And okay, this would be our answer. Hope you. I have gotten this question and uh, so we are moving in the, uh, for the next question.
now it says total sale of branch 6 for both years okay is what percent of the total sale of branch 3 for both years first of all uh, we must have to calculate the total sale first of branch 6 and that would be 70 plus 80 and uh, that would be 7 plus 8, 150 okay and branch 3 sale is branch 3 the sale is 95 plus 110 okay 95 and 110 would be what it would be 205 okay yeah now it says total sale of branch 6 for both the year is what percent of the total sale of branch 3 it says what percent it means that what what uh, how, what is the percent of change like how what percent it mean two hundred five or uh, one hundred and fifty is what percent of two hundred and five okay so what do you think what could be the solution? Definitely, we we would use the percentage formula, and that says uh, the uh, I didn't uh, that value would be uh, divided by total value, uh, total value, and multiply by hundred. That is the per percentage formula. No need to elaborate or no need to define. You you know it very well. So that would be 150 divided by 250 and that would be the answer would be 60%. The answer is 60%. 60%. So the sale of branch 6 is the 60% of the, uh, the sale of 2005. You can say that uh, in uh, or the sale of branch three is um, is more than sixty percent uh, is more forty is four percent forty percent more because the the sale of branch six is sixty percent it means that sixty percent if you cut down the uh, if you cut down the sale so that would be uh, the sale of branch six okay now move to the next question. And that says and what that says and that says what percent of the average sale of branch one three in two thousand is the average sale of branch to one three and six in two thousand okay. So it is saying what percent of average sales of branch okay in two thousand now it is is it is asking you two things first the average sale and then uh, the same uh, that we have done uh, the, in the previous question about the what percent uh, and that same logic will be applied to this but uh, on the average sale okay for example let's calculate the sale how you can calculate the average you can just add the all sales that uh, all sales that uh, is being asked for example, the sale of branch 1, 2, 3 in the 2001, okay, divided by the total number of branches, okay. So, branch 1, the sale of branch 1 in 201 was 105 plus branch 2 is, branch 2 was 65 and the branch 3 was 110, okay. So, if you would add these, so let me just, 105 plus 65 plus 280 divided by 3 because we are just uh, calculating for the average of okay, divided by 3. So 280 divided by 280 divided by 3 is 93. 93.3. Okay, got it? Now for the second part, the sale of branch one, branch 
1 plus branch 3 plus branch 6 in 2000 in 2000 okay the sale of branch 1 was 80 okay branch of B, uh, branch 3 was 95 and the branch 6 was 70 okay can you add that 80 plus 95 plus 7 so 245 245 divided by 3. So, what could be the answer? 245 divided by 3 would be 81. 81.66. Now, it is asking the sale of, at the average sale of these three branches is what percent of this? So, we would apply the same logic because we are asking this percent, okay? What would that this is what percent of 81 okay so definitely what percent it means that we would just if you are just asking for example x number is what percent of y so it's mean x divided by y multiplied by this is the logic okay so we will apply that 81.66 that of course would be more than 100 percent divided by 81.66 yeah and that is that is 114 percent okay now move to the next question The average sale of all branch in thousand uh, number for the year two. The average sale of all branches. So that means you would add these four okay, in the year two thousand, and then divided by the total number. Okay. So how would we do that? Eighty plus ninety five plus eighty five plus 75 plus 70 okay and then divided by the total 1 2 3 4 5 okay we have 5 branches no we don't have 5 branches we have uh, almost okay we missed that 75 branch okay? divided by 6 and then you go the answer okay? no need to further calculation you can do by your own okay Okay, we have done almost uh, the five question of this. Uh, wait for my next video. Uh, uh, I will come up with the more interesting questions. Okay.